Hey everybody in the video online world. Yes, it's me, Miss Isabel Marie 13, and I'm coming from you live from my house. Today is day 14 of the Faveo Fitness Challenge. Um, it is day 14. Uh, this is our second weigh-in, our second uh, week's progress and, and how the second week went. And I'm really, really super excited because I'm down 11 pounds this week. Um, actually, 11 pounds in total. That means I'm down 4 pounds this week, 7 pounds last week, and I'm feeling really good. I'm down uh, one and a half inches from my waist, another um, one and a half inches from my hips. So I'm down total five inches from my waist, four inches from my hips in just two weeks. So that's incredible. I'm really super excited. Um, this journey has been great to me. I've been really excited, very um, energetic. I say that this week my energy has gone through the roof. I get up at 5 a.m. every morning without an alarm. I can tell when it's about time to get up. My eyes kind of just open. I look around and I'm like, oh, it's almost 5. Or, you know, and 9 out of 10 times it's like 15 minutes or 10 minutes till 5. And just jump right out of bed and keep going and stuff. So, so far so good. Um, I know you guys have been in my, this journey with me for a little while and I like it. I've, you know, talked about the gym the other day. And I think that a couple things that I appreciate that I haven't mentioned before is... Um, one, I've been learning a lot of math, converting, you know, ounces and tablespoons and uh, teaspoons and uh, cups and quarter cups, you know, into whatever I need. Two, I, I love the fact that I, I know what I need at the grocery store. It's saving me money. It saved me a lot of time. I'm in and out and I, I head out really quickly. And I think three, I just, like I said, I've learning a lot more myself and the, the disciplines and the decisions I make. Last night we had ordered pizza, I had company over, my son was upstairs and they wanted pizza so I got them pizza and here I am serving them pizza and wings and it's something that me and my son used to do every Friday or every other weekend, you know, as like our little tradition, pizza and movies and I didn't even have the inclination to like lick my fingers, the, the sauce on my, off my fingers or to, to pick a pepperoni off the pizza, which, you know, is just things that you do and stuff. I, I actually... Hadn't had my dinner yet, and I served them first, and then I was going to eat myself, and I thought that I was going to be ravenous, I thought I was going to be hungry, or at least tempted, and I wasn't. I wasn't at all, and I felt really, really good about that. I, I think I liked that and appreciated that the most, um, because I felt empowered. I felt like um, I don't have to uh, fall prey to temptation and stuff. One thing that they did say in the Faveo system is that if you learn to regulate your sugar levels so you're not spiking high or low, um, you wouldn't be as you know ravenous and craving things and just doing um, making unwise decisions based on what's in front of you. And I really never got that concept. I think a couple of weeks before I started Faveo, there was a few days that I realized that, God, I am just like on this mission. Like if I had something that I craved, it was like, it was kind of like a, what I don't know, I've never been on drugs, but what I would uh, say, like, you know, maybe a drug addiction is like, like, or a cigarette, you know, you, you want it so bad, so bad, and you have to have it, and then when you have it, you're like, oh, it was, like, the best thing ever. But then, you know, you eat junky food, and then afterwards, you don't feel so good. You're like, oh, why did I eat that? And you kind of feel guilty and stuff. Um, so I realized a couple weeks before I started Faveo that now I can understand when they're talking about the sugar levels, maybe my body is extra ravenous or extra craving or really you know because it needs something and I didn't know that you know um, what it was missing so I would just eat you know things that I wasn't supposed to so this week now um, and last week that I've been doing this I feel normal so to speak I feel more in control I feel um, just like for me before Faveo Food kind of dominated, you know, my my thoughts. I either didn't eat enough or maybe ate too little here and there or the wrong foods that it was just like trying to get that next tie, that next fix of food and, you know, satisfy what my my body and my mind was set on, you know. And I didn't realize that till now. Like, I'm looking back at my, my prior uh, conditioning till now. And now, because it's on a schedule, because I eat really good food, because I eat satisfying, delicious food, um, I'm not craving anything else that's junky. Like yesterday was a big test, you know, like I have a warm pizza in my hand and, you know, maybe just a little bite. I thought maybe like that would, um, I guess I'm kind of waiting for a temptation to creep up or a craving to creep up and see how I, I do in that situation. But like yesterday, it was like serving, it's like about serving eggs or just anything. It wasn't like, oh, because it's pizza, I need it. And I was like craving it and lusting after it. It was just like, 
oh, here's your food, you know, let me warm up mine and, and we're good, you know, and I sat actually across the table from my friend eating, you know, wings and pizza and, and here I am eating my shrimp stir fry and my couscous and I was just like, oh, this is so good and I did joke a couple times and say, you know, this is so not pizza, and I, like, you know, I'm so jealous, but at the same time I was like, no, it didn't really bother me like on any internal level, which was surprising to me and I like that, I like um, being in control because now that the food is taken care of, like my my mind and my body is not dominated by that and my day is open to things I need to get done you know um, not the next meal the next snack the next the next hit so to speak so I think that's pretty cool I think that's really really neat and something that I think most more people will understand especially if you're taking this, this Faveo experience it's you're just you're programming is reset differently and I like that. I can literally see myself going the extra mile and living this lifestyle for years, not just for 12 weeks and not just for 12 months but for years and I'm just really excited about that because my body feels great. I, I, I love the way I look. My jeans are fitting me loose. I actually went up a belt notch. I actually had to, um, yesterday, I was like, God, why do these pants keep falling? I had my belt on. And then I realized, well, even if I had my belt on, it wasn't as tight as it should have been. So I was like, well, let me see if I need to make an extra hole or, you know. But then I, I just slid it down to the, the more skinnier belt loop and I was like oh my god like even this one's kind of loose and I was like telling myself look look my belt loop I just I just earned a new you know belt loop and I realized oh crap after one more I need a new belt so I thought that was kind of cool and my pants are kind of dragging on the ground which I have to roll them up on the bottom and stuff and but I'm really excited about that I'm like you know what I, I'm learning too is that I, I'm I want I'm falling in love with my body I, probably for the first time in a very long time and I'm welcoming the change. It's like I'm so excited to, it's kind of like having a baby almost, you know. I'm so excited to see my new body, to feel my new body, to be in my new body. I've been visualizing it every day, every night. You know, I'm on my my next goal and abs in Thailand, bikini in Thailand. People know that about me. And I'm kind of like, I'm appreciating this journey because it's like I'm growing something different. You know, I'm, I'm achieving something different that's personal and important to me. And I'm super excited to kind of see that end result and to see like, oh, this is who I really am. And, you know, and it's okay to feel different and to feel more vulnerable and maybe to wear different clothing, you know, and I'm just, I'm looking forward to that experience. And so far, so good. I've realized that I have to go clothes shopping sometime soon. Um, I'm kind of avoiding it right now because I don't want to buy anything and then have to buy more and more. But I'm also getting to a point where I'm, I'm coming down to like a few really nice shirts that I have. Because everything else makes me look like really big or like I'm pregnant or swimming in my clothes. And I'm like, oh, that's a, that's a good problem to have. So week two, we're down 11 pounds total. I'm really super, super excited. I hope that you guys are being inspired by these um, videos. I hope that your journey is 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 getting started. If you have any questions, give me a call or I'm sorry, uh, you send me an email, sorry. Um, find me, we'll connect, let's make this happen. Just because in the new year, it's the new you. If you want it, go out and get it. You know what I mean? There's nothing different between me and you. I think a lot of people see the glory and not the story. Oh, you, you only you can do it because you know how to talk. And I remember my first video. I remember my first uh, meeting, business meeting. Oh, my God, I was terrified. I remember, like, the third or fourth meeting. On the way to the meeting, I fell and sprained my ankle. So I actually did a whole meeting in high heels with a sprained ankle that was so swollen. And I was, like, limping around, pretending like everything was okay. But nobody knew except for one person in the room. So, you know, things happen, but you get better in time with experience. So let's experience this together. Week two for the Faveo 12-week fitness challenge. I like to call it the Faveo lifestyle makeover. That's what it really is. You're resetting so many habits in your life and yourself. And uh, I will go upstairs and show you the food prep for the next week as well. Um, I need to just get it all together and stuff. And we're going to do some cooking and stuff. I'm glad that you guys are really... Um, identifying with these videos and learning from these videos. So if there's any specific tip, trick, uh, anything that I could show, share with you how I prep the food. You know, I showed you guys how I store the food. 
just send me an email, send me a comment, let me know what you need to see next so I can help you in this journey. I'm learning like you guys are, but this has been a fun, fun experience for me. So guys, that's it for me. If you want to track my progress, it's down below in the comments. Um, if you want to go ahead and follow my progress, it's um, you can go to facebook.com forward slash isabelmarie13, youtube.com forward slash isabelmarie13, and I love you guys to death. Thank you so much for everything you do, and let's do this. Make it the best year ever. Bye.